Dun da da da! The Daily Mail tutorials. Today's tutorial is shut your pie hole. I started off by painting my nails already with a cher dark cherry color and a pie crust color. I used American Apparel Port and SE Bags to Riches. And now what I'm doing is I placed a dot of a beige neutral colored polish. I used American Apparel California Trooper. And what I'm doing is I'm painting the lattice work for the lattice top pie. Uh, right there, yeah. And as you can see, it's a little see-through, so we're gonna have to go over this twice, but not to worry. Um, so I'm just going to finish painting this lattice work. It's exciting stuff, right? But you got to do this part. It's like, it's boring, yes, but it's the foundation of the design. So you can't really like slack at this. This has got to be good. Otherwise, the whole rest of the design is going to suck. I'm going to turn my hand so I can actually make the other diagonal because I am not a robot. I can't detach my arm. That would be really cool though. And I'm still painting. I love the way that lattice top high cr crust like lettuce topped pies look. I think they look so cool. They're kind of a pain in the butt to make though. <laughs> Unless you like weaving. Okay, now I'm gonna go over all of that work one more time to make it a little bit more opaque so the pie filling doesn't show through. Um, so just putting a little thin, another thin layer on there. And as you can see, it is opaque, opaque pie crust, which is the kind of pie crust that you want. And don't worry about making a mess here. You will get some stuff on your cuticles unless you're a super painter person. Um, we'll clean it up later, so it's not going to be a big deal. And almost done. I made a little bit of mistakes, so what I'm going to do is soak my brush in acetone for a second, and I'm just going to clean up those two little spots that I messed up on. Easy peasy. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Um, my more golden pie crust color, which again is SE Bags to Riches for this video. And I'm going to put another dot or two on my um, palette, I guess. It's an index card in real life. <laughs> and I'm also going to take um, a more rusty color, H&M's Rust. It's an aptly named color, I guess. And I'm going to first take the bags to riches and go over the california trooper so it gives it a more natural like realistic cooked pie crust color as a base now, the reason i did this is because neither one of them was opaque enough to go over um the dark cherry color base without showing through so this kind of gives it more of a golden crust as a base before you start shading and stuff and basically, I'm just painting this over the entire thing. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the two colors together to get an even more golden baked color. And I'm going to go over the whole lattice work. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, it's a darker red, reddish brown, I guess. Um, I'm using Burial Cocoa Bar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of 
mark out where the lattice work is going to be woven. So I'm going to put a line, um, I'm going to draw in the lines where the pieces of pie crust overlap. So I know where to shade without having to sit there and think about it. It's already going to be drawn out. It's nice to get this out of the way right now so you don't have to worry about, oh, was I supposed to shade there? Oh my gosh, I screwed up. So, it's nice. Makes life so much easier. And almost done. Just a few more to go. Sometimes it's a little hard to figure out. <laughs> You have to really look at it and be like, is this where it's supposed to go? So, at least I do. But then again, I'm doing this in the evening and my brain is about dead for the day. Okie dokie. All done. So now I'm going to mix, get that golden color again, and apply it wherever the pie crust is exposed. Even if it's not going under, like being woven underneath, it still has to get that golden kind of coat to it. And it doesn't, this, this coat doesn't have to be even. I want it to actually look a little mottled because pie crust is never perfectly smooth. It's always going to be, like, it's never going to brown evenly. It's going to have, like, that little bit of kind of spottiness, I guess, to it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to get that color on there. Even see now the pie crust is becoming more realistic and less like California Trooper. All right, making a little bit darker golden color so I can start shading. I'm gonna mix a little bit of cocoa bar in with, with it to darken it up a little bit. And I'm gonna what I'm doing is I'm taking that darker color and I'm pulling it from this the the line which is the seam and pulling it up towards the top so it's gonna create a shadow so it looks like the crust is going underneath the other piece of crust or as much as it can on a fingernail that is a third of an inch wide <laughs> and again this doesn't have to be perfect you're just basically pulling it so it sh it it's a subtle, more slightly subtle shadow. And you want to leave a little bit of a highlight in the middle so don't get that darker color all the way across because when the pie crust is at the height of the bump where it's got that other piece of pie crust underneath it, you're going to get a little bit of a, a highlight so it looks woven. And what I did is I just took a little bit of acetone and kind of went over everything a little bit to kind of smooth it out. And I'm going to go back to shading again. Alright, one more darker color to kind of really get into that shaded spot. And now I'm going to take my super favorite top coat. I don't leave home without it. Well, I do leave home without it, but... Um, Sesh V, I use it for everything because it's fast drying and it kicks total butt. I wouldn't be able to do half the stuff I do without it. So there you have it. the first one's done. 
the lattice pie crust is done. Next we're gonna do the normal topped pie crust. I have no idea what it would be called. Don't forget to watch part two of this tutorial.